Welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream with live peoples and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. I'm continuing in the Kirby Rosanne's Imagimorphia and we're still on the balloon page but I think we're on the final stages now. We've picked out all the flowers, all the balloons. There's just the birds, the clouds and the little creatures. To, to colour in so hopefully we finish that today but I think that's part six and apologies for barking so if I remember rightly I was playing with uh, Naples yellow and no that's Naples yellow I don't know what this one is but I could have a look could I have a look mm, no I don't know where they are let me have a look well, that's a cad yellow gamboge that's what it is gamboge that one's naples yellow this is gamboge sorry puppy alert um oh for goodness sake terrapin, terrapin just bear with me alfie psst, 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 psst. what's this come here alfie no the little rat bag will do what he wants so this is the tube that I squirted in last week and as you can see it's almost as thick as the actual pans. It'll never dry exactly like a pan. I suppose you should never say yell never say never, but it's not Oh goodness gracious. Sorry about that everybody. Um so I've got this little space here. And I was actually adding oh, for goodness sake, Tinkerbells. I was adding some um alizarin one, two, three, four, five, A little bit of that I think that's magenta, I'm pretty sure that's magenta. It's very, very pinky. Uh, and we discussed last week about a very good set would give you that. Just spilt the water, but it's a tablespoon. I don't think that's quite quite deep enough. And uh, I've been practicing with my little designs to make some cards, but I don't really like them. They're a bit of a muchness. So that's near the birds. So I was kind of starting in the middle and fading out and so I've got a bit more of this magenta and it was giving some quite nice effects for the birds. And again, I quite like this way of, it's a little bit different than before. Um, because I'm not really blending it as such. I could possibly get a little bit of... Um, I don't know why the lurcher is following me. Probably because we've been away. She's never this clingy. No, she's in steely mode. Oops, I went over the line there. And then if I come back this way, I'm just going to get a natural highlight on the top of that wing. Quite like that effect. And very little water, but quite like that effect. Now really, I should turn this round so that it's it's more comfortable for me so this is the back of the wing so i hope this is in focus and it's getting paler and paler and paler what this dog is doing and then this that, and there and then that's going to be really pale but i might just get away with that the light's hitting it completely different. So I don't know if you can see all those different 
subtle shades just from playing with a damp brush. Um, but if you wanted a tiny, and again, this one's full of colour, but this one isn't, it's a damp brush. So you can actually tease a little bit of colour in there if you wanted a little bit more. I just seem to have gone over that bit. Let's see if we can just. And if you wanted a tiny, as I say, it's a very strange colour. I don't know what you call this colour, but it's magenta pink and gamboge, and it's a brown, which is ridiculous. It's an orangey, tanny brown, and it's, it's definitely the purple. I think it's a purple colour, but I would call I would call that purple magenta. Um, so I quite like that one. Um, so all of them are a little bit different. Now this one's yellow, so I don't know why I've left this one yellow, but I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to change that slightly. I think I think I'd like a bit more colour on this bird. And if I take that up there, the brush is still damp, so I'm still getting that lovely colour. Muted down, and then that will be lovely on the wing. Didn't quite work out, but never mind, it's, it's not so bad. Um, and here wants to be dark. This is a little bit of a bigger brush I need, really, but... I'm trying not to talk too loudly because I'm conscious of the fact I just need a I'm just conscious of the fact I'm right next to the camera. Just need a bit of a blend out there. And then we need to just take that down there a little bit. So we can have of a low light on here and that can kind of work its way around here and the nice thing is that this colour won't be in anybody else's book because it's the one I've made up myself so again that's quite unusual sorry it was just off camera I've just gone over this one because it was too yellow and then blend it into there a little bit. Um, so we've done this beautiful, and then there's a big flower here, so I think that's going to be pink. Now remember, because we've been working out of here, I've still got some pinky purple. So if I clean the brush out, and then just reconstitute this again it's just going to be very 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 pale but I want it to be pale um, so that's going to look quite nice um, that could be a leaf but I'm not sure so we'll just go with that one um, and it could be deep in, in the middle problem we have is we've got these stamens so you've got to decide what you want to do with the stamens now one thing I was going to do have I just gone over a stamen? no I was going to do earlier but it's not probably worth it on this one is to and you could do this with the felt pens you've got to be a bit careful with felt pens but you could do it I think that leaf is behind there um, so I need to clean the brush and clean that one you can use um, a masking fluid and put it in a little tiny bottle. And I did put some in a bottle. I've never used it, so I'm going to get it out. I'm not sure I use it. Oopsie! Use it. Sorry about that. Um, this is what I've put. Um, artist pink masking thing and it's it's coloured so you've got to shake it until it does its right colour so 
I put it in again. I bought these at the model shop and the model railway shows, I should say. Um, and I've put it into here. And again, because it's been laid down, it's gone. So if we put that on top of there, it seems to have lost its spike. It's lost its metal spike. Oh, wow. That's interesting. But I'm going to shake it up because it's got to lose that pink, I think. Now, do I have an old paintbrush? And it's seen better days. It's a pure sable one. I'm not going to use that one. I've got an old sable that's skewed with. Nope, that's a new one. It's a sable. I'm sure I've got one that's kind of a bit. Ugh. Hmm, I'm doing very well, I'm after finding old. I've never used this one, but they were cheap and cheerful. That will do. It's going to have a really, really fine point on the end. Right, that's almost mixed now. In fact, I could actually just... I've lost the spike out of the end. Goodness only knows where that's gone. Right, in that case, let me shake the bottle up. You must wash your brush out the second you've finished because it will wreck your brushes. And I'm going oh dear. Oh, okay then. Oops. There should be enough in the lid. Oh look, you see I've never used it. Whoopsie. This is what happens to it. It goes really, really yucky. But actually there is a, a little bit of it that's loose on here. So um, now somebody told me to put your cleaning thing on first. So you put some of this on your brush. And then you wipe it. And you twist to a point. So there's enough on the lid here, look, to just tease a bit and tie out your loss. Go through that way. So you could just go over here. And you do this in watercolour so you can have a lovely background. And then you can go over your colours. Now I can't really see what I'm doing. Because it's a little bit further away from me. You just want to put it on there. I think I'm going to pull this off and take it away. Not the actual lid, but it's got a little inside lid. Stick it right. So I put that back into here. out and then we wash it in brushing cleaner which I always forget to do and then hopefully that little brush is as good as new it's a good idea to pick one brush buy a cheap brush use that one every time and then you've got one brush that you use you don't want to use your sable or your best one so if that was dried and I could just go over the top, so I'm going to do this leaf now. So let me see if I've got any colour. Paintbrush is clean. Let me turn it over because I've got masking fluid on it now. So again, I've just got a damp brush, and I think I've still got some of this green here behind, kind of well hidden, and as, as a tester. I can put that on there and test. It's a little bit 
that's that's probably a better colour. So I could put probably a little bit more colour into this. Didn't want that colour in it really, but never mind. At least I can just go over this one now. Change it. You can always just change things if you don't like them. Prefer not to, but um, that could be a, a leaf, but I'll probably go for a non leaf. So back into the pink. So I hope everybody can see where I am. Um, so again, teasing colour out. That's a little bit wet, but this paper can take this. It's quite good quality. But you won't get a lovely watercolour effect because that's a bit too wet. Um, and then because this is dried now, I'll wait for this to dry and don't throw this bit away because when it's completely dried it's a fab rubber so if we now just tap that you don't have to rub because it sticks to this And just stroke it gently and it's all gone so if you wanted to go back in there with some deeper you could have done that but keep this little bit handy because it will be it will be handy for masking fluid so if anybody's got any questions pop them in caps so we've got a yellow cloud under there and another one here so um, I think I was using just the gamboge for this I think and moving it around so eventually I'll get some nice highlights if I go everywhere low first And here can be quite dark. And by the time you've teased all that colour up here, it's gone very pale. So you've got a natural highlight up to there. And the same. I think that could be green down here. So I found another bird. There's a couple of birds there. So I'll get rid of those two. So again, we've got the, the gamboge with a touch of uh, magenta in it. And that's kind of given and that brush you can tell when the brush is a bit wet so you can just touch it and get some out if you really want to and that will get you a really nice watercolor effect the further you go by the time we've got to that end one it should be a nice effect I just need a touch on there so again start the bottom and just stroke the color in and then you've got quite a nice natural highlight can I just put these a touch darker because of course that bird doesn't have a head <laughs> and there's a little bit of on that um, I start normally start the, the 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 bodies. I think I've been starting with the bodies, maybe on the back of the tail. 
I mean, this is quite a large brush for this area, but that's given a little bit of a nice highlight. And then touch again, dark under the wings. It's a name for these flight flight feathers. I think the bottom ones are, aren't they? The big ones at the bottom are flight feathers. So give those a bit of a, and then just a touch blending on the top. Possibly a little bit darker that one. Oops, and that one, and that one. So we've got that to sort out. So again, a little bit on that one. So the cat's fiddling next to me as well, so that's not helping. Don't think the dog's come back yet. So they're all a bit frazzled because I hope he had to drive home. So we're going to do another little birdie, and there's another one up here. I just have to move everything so I can have an avalanche. And that's going to be a little bit too wet just tease that colour in so I'm going to pick all the birds off first and then go back and kind of do everything else I haven't thought of the background I think I'll leave the backgrounds till last Because sometimes you think of background and then when you finish it you think well actually I like it without a background so we'll have to just leave that at the moment to see what mood I'm in. Now I did actually get some le um, gamboge on there and I've emptied that so that's how much colour I've wasted um, and I've contaminated my water. We'll just pop back this way because there are a couple of birds. There's that one here. And again, I just have to touch. So I've got a damp brush. And uh, it's a bit easier now. This is a smaller brush. So I hope everybody's had a good weekend. And... Uh, so I didn't manage to get anywhere and I didn't get to Black Rock to do some shopping I love Black Rock it's only a very small place but I love it so I didn't get there and I didn't uh... but the show was an hour almost an hour away from where we were staying we were staying with a friend and uh... so by the time you finish the show, you're a bit shattered, so we, we didn't kind of do anything else. And, uh, so there's a bit of shadow on that one. I do like a touch on the, say, under, on the wings underneath. And again, actually, that's too, too much magenta on that one. But it's a, a funny brown, is that one? It's still a brown, but it's... And just under here, I think we'll have a... Pretty sure the big ones underneath are flight feathers. But I'm not an expert on birds and wings. And then just to make those even darker, you could just take... Those a touch darker. I don't normally bother with this. It's just if it doesn't just do it the first time, I have a bit of a play. And again, there's one little one here that's kind. Of, and I've got quite a lot of this colour on here, so I'm just going to take that down here.
just tease that colour in. And if you wanted, I think actually I quite like that one as it is. I like that as a pale one, but to get a contrast again, that, that magenta into that um, gamboge and just under here would be slightly darker. And then we can just morph that through. I quite like that little one. Possibly a touch into here, I think. Maybe a touch. And then a touch down into here. And then you can use that into these darker areas here because as I say this has been given already been given its and that's kind of morphed into there a bit is everybody alright with that? has anybody got any questions? Um, so there's a paper aeroplane there, that's got to have a colour. I think we might go with um, magenta pink, I think. As soon as we have a pink, we may as well use it. So we'll get all the birds out of the way and then we'll go picking other things off. There's another couple here. So sometimes I go back in, but sometimes I like just to get it in one if I can. Because it's more of a natural blend. This is probably a bit too light, this, but if I just carry on with this, I shall get the whole thing out of the same colour so it's connected. So again, that's quite a nice little... So we've got this one here now. He should be quite pale down there because he's uh, I think again by the time we've done this that's lightened up quite so you've got a lovely natural little highlight there. And no effort. I love highlights with no effort. So a bit of gamboge, a little bit too wet that brush, um, on the tail of feathers, and then up, and then across, and then just that last little bit there. And then if we just touch the yellow gamboge, we can just bring that down. And the brush is damp, so it's going to get paler and paler and paler. And that's the beauty of a rigger with a damp, a damp brush. For that natural blend. Oops, I've got this one to do next. So I'm still using this gamboge and just a touch of magenta. It's a bit bigger bird, so 
working a little bit wetter. I don't think in that um, Bible study book you could get away with the paper. This is very thick paper, this. So I think you'd want it to be... I don't think you'd want it as wet. You'd have to be really careful. But um, As I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure I was going to do the camellia pens with that. And then these underneath feathers can be slightly darker. There is a puppy on my feet. And I would have liked that pale, but I'm going to do that a little bit darker. And I've got quite a nice little highlight on that one. And the puppy's pinched my blanket now for my feet. <laughs> Part of the course. So I could do yellow, but I'm just going to do the birds first. We've got another one here. So a real dry, dry brush if possible. But just damp. And then tease that natural highlight up into there and you do want some to be different some will be darker than others and that's quite nice it's quite natural because obviously the light will be catching the different birds at different angles and some birds are different colors They're the same species but they're going to be slightly slightly off so that's quite a pale one Just got to remember when you go in next the next wing that there's still some continuity otherwise the the wings don't match. But I think those wings just about match. I mean that's really dry now, it's gone. So that's quite a nice little highlight. And we've got quite a few over here now. Got this one here. It's a most unusual burnt orange brown colour. Probably a little bit too pink that, and there's a pink flower there. So I'm just going to put a touch of gamboge in there and do it again. I'll go in there again because you want that gamboge to take it back to a burnt orange. So it doesn't clash with that flower. And again, go back into this one. Um, and that's probably a smidgen. Just touch that magenta. It's just a smidgen too yellow, so we'll just darken him off a little bit there. And then if we take that back over the body, we should get the right colour. It's like a burnt orange colour, it's quite nice. So we've got this one next. the colour on the end in a damp brush. Strap the colour in. And that's given it again, if you just get it right you get a lovely lovely shadow underneath and then a lovely highlight on top. I think that's probably a bit too pale that and yet that was quite nice, that, but never mind. Mm. 
So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. And when I look up, I can see them and I know to read. And if you want to go back in and just think, well, actually, I think that should be slightly darker or that wing should be better. A little bit of jiggery poker gets you there. I think I'd like just a little bit under here. Just a little bit more to make sure that's a, a body form and not I'm quite like that. Again, you know, it's not all the same colour. That Now that morphed into gamboge, so I'm just going to squizzle that into there a bit. And a touch of water. And make that go right down there. Bring it backwards. Just another bit down here. And this gamboge is um it's, it's growing on me, I quite like it. instead of having a darker background you've got a lighter one which changes everything changes everything quite a lot now I found a bluebell there so I'll get the bluebell in so you've got to make sure you've got rid of all that yellow the way you've got green and we'll just have a touch of that and we'll start at the ends and work upwards and that should give us no it didn't didn't really give an actual highlight but hey ho and we'll start at the bottom it's a very dry brush is that you can't have it quite as dry as that Maybe a little bit of moisture in it, but that's the bluebells done. Oh, hi, the bookworm, and just got a smidgen of green on here that I've missed. So, just that bit there. I don't know what that is behind there. Nigel, darling, could you shut the door, please? I'll push it too. Sorry? Could you just push the door to darling, please? Thank you. Just thought he was going to wash up. It'll be quite bad. I've got a caterpillar there, so I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Got another bird here, so I'll get rid of that one as well. Start with the tail feathers and then back up. So hopefully I'm going to get this finished today. These pages seem to go on and on and on. And on. They're wonderful, but they're not a quick 10, minute, 10 minutes and then when you're done. Again, just a touch of that um, magenta, purple magenta. Probably a little bit too much there. It's more of a pinky that. Um, than a than a brown. So if I just go over there a bit, I'm not quite happy with that one, but 
I can turn it into a magenta in a minute, into a brown. I've got quite a nice pro progression there and then just a touch of, of that one. It's just a bit too too much, but we match them up and then they'll look all right. Just a touch of yellow. And just give him a little bit of something down there. He's got a bit of a contrast. And there's a couple in the sky, and then we've nearly done them all. That'd be good. Should be able to play with this. it all one colour and go over it but as I say it's just a bit too much trouble for me I like I like to think once I've touched it once I've done it because otherwise um, I was watching somebody the other day and they went over something six times and I thought oh no I couldn't do that probably a bit too much red in there actually mix that with magenta and I thought no I, I just couldn't do that it would be too much touching something so many times and then there's one out to the top there so I've just got some of that yellow so get a stroke that in there And again, that's turned out a little bit too just a little bit of contrast on that. But it's a long way away that one. So I think we've gone them all now. We have a look, see if we can find any more. Oh, so now we need to morph these into into yellow now. Okay, so if we start really yellow, And again, the damp brush is doing all the work for you. So you don't have to do anything, you just take it from dark to light. Oh dear, so I have just a bit of a play under there. <coughs> oh dear, somebody's sat next to so close to somebody else. So again, sometimes I quite like these areas, they're quite nice. Everybody can see. Um, this is where I get bored backgrounds bored now <laughs> um, so that's a morph 
for that and then that's the morph and that so they're going to have to be green then I think the stems will be green I think probably that's going to be better when you get a bit of background in there and and again you've got another cloud down here so this really wants to be bright yellow and then by the time we've finished we're going to have oh for goodness sake dogs um we're going to have quite a pale yellow Um, I think this is a cloud. And, uh, I don't know what possessed me to do yellow clouds. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's what happened. I got yellow clouds. I did want it all Victorian colours, but it's gone all lemons and pale green, greens and yellows and things. It's not not very strong colours at all. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to colour that. Get rid of it. Get rid of the yellow in there. Again, not quite sure what that is behind there, so we'll get rid of this. Um, not sure what that is at all, but he's got like koala ears. Um, there's definitely something in there, but I can just pretend it's a cloud. And we do have a cloud there. These are going to be a bit paler, I think. So we've got to work out what to colour in and what to leave. And I think you can be a little bit more wishy washy on there now. Again, I've got to start with a dark gamboge in here. Otherwise, that one's going to lose its its highlight. It's got quite a nice highlight on that one. Now these bushes aren't going to last long if I am um, twisting them sideways and. Up ways and <laughs> and then we could start quite deep again in here and go around to that one. So I'm not sure about background now because I've got yellow clouds. <laughs> so we're gonna have to think about that one. And again, try and start quite dark. And then... I don't know what possessed me to do yellow clouds. I was... But again, that area is really nice and, and gentle. I think this will be yellow, it won't be dark. Oh, sorry, there's another puppy's coming to see me. That's another one. Oh, one gone, the one in. I think it's because I've been away a few days.
Let me set up my shopping bag now. Right, oops. So I'm trying to get into the bottom of here now. Oopsie. It's on a slant, so it's a bit difficult. Oh, we've got another snail. I forgot what we did the snails now. So we've got a snail. I think we had. Um... Oh dear me, that dog. I think he was the same as the. Pretty sure he was the same as the. Uh... The birds, but it was a touch browner. Um. Just have a little bit of this comment to see what's happening. Oh, I've just made him slightly different, so that's the snails done. Uh, this is a yellow cloud. It ought to be in a gamboge. Um, sorry, he's just trying to escape here. Here in yellow mode. And if I can take that down, I hope we can see. Have you got any questions? I hope everybody's not bored with the. Uh, Oops, I think that's the bottom of our little dinosaur, but and I don't think these pages are really quick, simple. I think they're... Oh, I don't know why he's doing that with the door. If I really didn't like the yellow, I could go over it with something else if I wanted, but... I actually quite like it. So here we've got another kind of cloudy thing going on. And then this is the bottom of this cloud. Now I do know that is actually a leaf. So that does want to be a little bit green. And there should be something down here. I think that's going to have to be yellow then. Pretty sure this is going to be yellow under here. Oh, dear me. Don't know where things are. Right, just have to... I think that's going to be green as well. So we'll just give that just a bit of greenery. Um, that section's done now. So there's another yellow gamboge frame there. Somebody's desperate to get through to us, so I may have to jump up in a minute. Nope, they're not. Right. That looks like a leaf behind here. Not really enamored by the colour, I have to say. But so I think that's gamboge behind there. Somebody's definitely trying to get hold of us. Shout my husband in a minute, so you have to bear with me. I'm waiting for our daughter to come back from staying out, so a sleepover. Yeah. 
so I think that's a leaf but this is a background Green. I think that's green. Oh, that was a cat. <laughs> oh, I said to my husband, shut the door in the... He's put too much in the washing machine, I can tell, because it's clunking. And it's a silent washing machine. Bless him. Right, so I've got these little creatures to do but apart from that oh hi if you welcome to bunny's designs i'm gonna have a drink of water because um oh it's almost finished almost i like that yellow it's it's a it's a different thing for me to do tell me two seconds a quick slurp as uh, oopsie, too much yellow in that. Definitely took too much water. Let's see if I can just get away with that. Where with me too? Oh, I'll have to take it. The phoned up hubby. The phone's been going, Nigel. Right, so you need you can't play it. I can't play it. Okay, I can't play it. Uh, yeah, just give, just give me a score and see what they say. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Could you shut the door, Nigel, please? Thank you. Could you shut the door, please? Oh, Jesus! Somebody's deaf, and it must be. Right, I'm just in this corner. Right, just see if I can. I'm going to have to uh, see Hubby in a minute. So There's another green leaf under there, so I'm going to make that green leaf. But I like the idea of this yellow at the background, whereas normally I do it really dark. I quite like that. That looks like a nut and bolt, but never mind. Um, so I just pushed that. There. Nigel, could you just shut the door, darling, please? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'll push it to or something. Thank you. Right. What else have we got now? I did mean. I did mean now, Nigel. Please. Yeah, I'm doing it. Thank you. Goodness gracious me. Right. Oh, under the birdie there. Look, that's another gamboge. Clown, clown, cloud. Oh, oh, I don't think that was a cloud up there, but uh, sometimes it's difficult to see where things start and where things end. I think down here could possibly be. I'm sure you don't want to hear my husband emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> <coughs> Um, all behind here will be the yellow clouds. Uh, and we've got Mr. Snake to do. I don't know what colour we're going to do, Mr. Snake. And I think we've nearly broken its back. I think we've got quite a lot there. Um, I should have done that green, so I'll just touch that green. Oh, it's that horrible pea green. I don't like that one, but never mind. It's done now. Um, I did see a little leaf somewhere and I've lost it now. That's green and I think that's green. Be 
behind there was a bit of green. So apart from the little people, and I've actually not done them on, I don't think I've done them on any. Let me have a look. So I'm going to bring that forward. I've creased that page and I've wet that page. <laughs> That's not clever. Um, so let me just have a look and see where I am. Try not to make everybody icky thick. So that's what it looks like. So it's very unusual for me to use these colours. Um, and again, I haven't a clue what I'm going to do with the background. Um, but I don't think, I can't remember, there weren't any little green, oh, the little yellow. I did them yellow. Well, I can't do them yellow on that one. On the bunny ones. I left, I think I've left the creatures. There's no creatures on that one. There should be some creatures somewhere. Can't see any creatures on that one. Um, we've just done this one. Now on these these pages, I think I left them. Yeah, so I'm going to leave them. To, oh, I did them yellow again. I've done the yellow, so I, I'm going to leave the little the little creatures white. I think I think I might leave them white. Can't decide. Oh, I found a bird there. Look, I missed one. <laughs> I've missed one. I've missed one. See, so let me just go back into here a minute and into that Cambodia yellow. Now, I did touch that with a different colour just to make it oh, be fine. That right, so we're going in here, so again, just touch his tail feathers and blend it through. I'm gonna go the other way this time. Sorry, I think that was a cat. <laughs> right, now he's very, very bland and he's all the same. So again, I'm just going to touch something on there that's a little bit darker. And just give that a little bit of... It's maybe a bit pink, is that? Oh, it's not too bad. I don't know why the cat is over there. blend that across a little bit and then just put a tiny amount on the tips of the tail so I think we've nearly all finished there's just a little creature, there's a snake which I can't decide what colour some little white fluffy things and an odd creature oh, now we have a butterfly, now did I do the other butterflies I've only got one butterfly, have I? Mm -hmm. And I've missed that balloon middle as well. I think I will possibly do. I might do this very pea green colour. And it's a little bit flat, is that colour? It's got a little bit of a highlight on it. Oh, thank you, King Or. Welcome to Bunny's Design. Thank you. I was just, um, I don't normally work with these yellows, but be, again, take Yorkshire Lass, when you start playing with colour, I mean, I've only been playing out of this corner and that green, you're kind of using the colours, and so all these colours are, are from here. Um, and they've kind of, these have all morphed together which I'm normally 
trying to do light and dark and think how natural how natural things would be in here um and i didn't done that with this i've gone with yellow clouds which is something completely out of my comfort zone so we've got a little grub here sorry a caterpillar i did this caterpillar pink so we could have a pinky caterpillar so let's do the caterpillar and there's still so much color on this caterpillar so the caterpillar gets just a very simple loose dry damp wash over it now you may get a natural highlight and you may not so that's dry so if you then touch again just under the feet you can get I don't think that was actually part of it but you can get a natural shadow underneath so I have gone over this one twice but this time he's got a little bit of a shadow and if you just stroke the top of that leaf that pink will give that leaf the shadow if you can see that that now looks like it's got a quite a nice little shadow on it uh, so there's some stars and some unusual creatures and there is a butterfly. So I've got some blue on here. And I do like blue butterflies. But I think this is a little bit big. Perhaps. So I'm going to go in with a real fine drop. Well, I would if I didn't drop it on the floor. I'm going with my number 10 that I like so much. So I've got a damp brush, a little bit of blue underneath. And if I do this, which one am I going to go this way? This should blend out to a pale. Oh, it didn't work. Oops, it didn't work because I've got the brush was too damp. It worked a little bit better that way. Um, but this is where you can go back in with quite a damp brush, and that would be darker. And that be darker and you can start playing about a bit but I'm just going to give him a little bit of a, a brown bod and he's done now not sure you'll be able to see that paintbrush stand on it I've just not put them in my mouth now they'll be on the floor very hygienic. So, I think, apart from the odd, oh my, I suppose I could do those now, couldn't I? So I'm going to put these finishing touches. I think everybody sees. Is that okay? I think I'm going to put some maybe greens. It's very pale green and I think I want to morph them into green. Because that's a green leaf. And I morph that one into green. So I quite like that one, so I may as well do the others. So again, that's a really tiny space. It's just sometimes the finishing off things are just right. So you can't really rush, even though you can you're on the last leg and you think, oh yeah, quick, let's get it done. You can't really because you ruin it and you spent days on it. I mean, this has taken me quite a long time to do this one. Uh, and again, if you see, you're going to find an odd green leaf floating about. Which one's colouring in? So, has anybody got any questions? Um, I 
I'm actually going upstairs to see if my daughter's taken her pens with her, because if she hasn't, then I'll be using them. So, oh, here we've got, we've got some nice morphed leaves. And you just have to keep picking everything off until there's nothing left. Uh, but these are not pages to be done watching the TV in half an hour. There's a fair bit going on. Now, admittedly, I've got to go back on, back on every page and look at the background. And I've got to look at the little creatures and decide, but I'm going to do that at the end when I finish the book. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oops, now there's a paper aeroplane there, but I think I'm going to leave that again. I'm going to leave that white. Has anybody got any questions? So again, it's a completely different colour that I would have normally chosen for these uh, these ropes. I don't know what to do with that one. Could morph it green, couldn't I? And then brown. It's probably a bit ready brown with this one. And that's going to make that little man stand up. I don't know what I'm going to do with the little men, I have to say. I haven't decided. And they've got little wings. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Oh, hi, well, Kangaroo Babe. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Anybody else I've missed? I'm uh, still working in the balloon page, but almost finished almost finished. There's probably one or two things to pick out. Um, there's one or two things to pick out but I would say that's finished. I haven't decided what to do with the little creatures or what to do with the backgrounds but um, I haven't done that on any of them. Um, I did want a white horse on this time and then I, I smudged but I did want a white horse, so I'm, I think I might put a background in there. So what I would do with that is I would cover this in masking fluid and then cover the, do the background. Don't have to do that here, but from here onwards, I would definitely do masking fluid because I'd like all the all the inside here to be the background, so you can see all oh, this is background. Um. Again, I've left the little creatures, the dragonfly to do. All the little creatures I've left on this side. Um, and there's the buns. Have, haven't done a background on the bunnies either. And now we've we've done this one. I think that's the only ones I've done now there. And I've done one in the Animorphia, so perhaps I should do one in the Animorphia, because I've only done one. Oh, I want to do the fishes. I haven't done the fishes, but you'd have to have a background then, wouldn't you? Do the little fishes. Um, that's the one I did. And again, that one's done in professional watercolour. Windsor Newton and this one's in Cotman watercolours and you really wouldn't think there's any difference um, and I loved working 
in the with these colors this, these are the cotton and the water, water colors and again you end up with unusual <laughs> unusual colors that you probably wouldn't use so, uh, this is going to be spectacular to do as well isn't it is that piano keys i can't quite make out that's a dragon fish I want to know what this is because it's going all the way through. Don't know what that is. Of course, leopard spots, vivid gamboge, gamboge and red, um, that gamboge yellow. That would be brilliant, I think. Mustard colour. Um, I don't think it will. I, d I don't know. I'll have to try it. I don't think... Not if you rub gently. No, it's, if it's dry, shouldn't do. It shouldn't do. Masking fluid. I, I did put a little bit on that one, didn't I? I put a little bit on that one and rubbed it off. And under, I, I went over... I actually went over with it. And I just rubbed it off. The thing is not to rub it with a rubber. What you need to do is, if you've got a dry bit of masking fluid, this is a bit yucky, looks like chewing gum, um, that will... Uh, just you can feel it stroking and sticking and it'll just adhere to itself a lot better than rubbing but if you start rubbing and make it into a ball save that little ball and every time use the same substance because obviously it's gonna it's gonna pick it up quite well so I will keep that little bit of disgusting dry stuff that was in the top of the lid um, I folded it in half and it's probably still wet inside but you know that's gonna be fab that's gonna be perfect all blue tack I wouldn't use a rubber, I'd use either blue tack or that and just stroke it gently or use your finger, stroking it gently and that should get it off um, I'll probably do um, because I want to do all the backgrounds um, all the pages first otherwise I could do that I could show you how you do that and, and then you can do store a lovely wash over it but it, again, it would have to be a dry wash because this is watercolour paper and there's a crinkle down here because we were coming out of the hospital and it's a roundabout at York and some, we had right of way and somebody didn't stop. So we had to do an emergency stop and I spilt um, a tablespoon of water um, onto here and it dribbled all the way down. So otherwise that would be perfectly flat because that's perfectly flat absolutely no bubble on that whatsoever and that's watercolour it's just as I say we had to, we had to stop um, and I'm sure it wasn't worth crushing the car again that's flat just to save my watercolour pa paper <laughs> uh, my painting rather uh, that's completely flat and again I thought that wouldn't work because this is very very pale um, that's this red watered down it's all the same red from the same palette not much left of it now it's not in that one it's in the big round one that I don't like uh, I still got some left um, but that page was done first and then I used the colours to do that one and then some of these no this is a new palette I've done another page no this is a new palette here so still quite a lot of colour, so that's the purples, the mauves, the blues, the reds. And then I've been making all these clouds and bird colours I've used from uh, gamboge and the magenta purple. And just putting some gamboge and touching um, that one. I think this pink one that I made the other day was for the flowers. All the little flowers are pink, very pale pink. Um, but there's still quite a lot of colour in there, so of course tight Yorkshire last. Can't can't rinse that away. So there would be um, possibly this one would be good. This one would be good because I can use all these colours pale because there are small spaces. Sorry, not small spaces, small creatures. But one thing I could do is I could actually mask out everything. And put a background in. Shall I do that and have a go? Is that a 
okay with it. that's what i might do shall i do that so i'll use the pot of masking fluid and a little brush and i'll mask everything out and then i can color in and not faff about because this is this would be faffy i mean i could do it well, i don't know you see i could do it but then your background isn't hasn't got a unity if you want if you want a nice watercolor effect you probably wouldn't get this because you're going to do that and then you're going to change the color to get to the next bit unless you were doing a flat color now i could i could use my acrylics that i haven't used yet now that would be good that would be good um and I actually probably am a fussy, a fussy so and so that I could actually probably colour in all the sections because that's how I roll. <laughs> that's how I roll. Yeah, I could do that because then that means that I can use all these colours. I can use all these colours um, because these will be paler. They're not going to be that vivid, are they? I'm going to cry when I get to all these butterflies and stuck in a stuck in a thing. So these are pale, these are paler colours, but some of these will look lovely in here. Only thing is, most of the time I can't tell what things are because I look at something about six times before I realise what it is. And this little bird in a nest there, look. Now is that a pork chop or is that a piece of wood? Or is it a stone and that's a scalibur? Aha! <laughs> Spongebob square pants is pants. Oh yes, I do it in one colour because I'm a bit boring. A bit, little bit boring. But I mean you could do, you could do a background, you could... Um, it depends. I was going to keep I'm going to keep the washes and the wet paint for the Harry Potter books where you you do a background. I've just got the urge to, to do this one. But again, you see I don't normally do backgrounds. But I think that one lends itself to backgrounds. This would be nice to do as well. Um but I want some nice greens and nat more natural colors for this. So um, pick out the red things first, and or I could, but will it dry? Um, I have. You see, this is the problem. We have so many colour books. <laughs> so I'm going to stop this video because I think that's the last bit of this one. So um, thank you for watching.